On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, back by massive popular demand, Beast Lab has returned to the table. Last time we unleashed sharks, and it was incredibly crazy. And this time, we're going cats, big cats, or Stealth Strike Cats, that's what it is. Inside of this lab of beast, we will create the most ferocious cat that will still love and cherish squirrels. So join along as we begin the experiment anew. Find out what we create in the all new Beast Lab Cat Factory. Squirrel Stampede. <laughs> So this is the Stealth Strike Cats Beast Creator. And not really sure, is this like maybe an Amazon exclusive? I got this kit in a box that opened up and everything kind of just fell out. There's the cart art for the two cats that could possibly be inside. I'm not catching names for the cats, but one is like a panther and the other is like a tiger. Again though, I have not seen this one in store just over on Amazon. Unlike the reptile pack, which is off stage over there, that one just discovered a target recently. So there are three different beast labs out there. And there's so many instructions with these. I highly recommend go through these before you do the experiment. May make things move a little smoother. What? As, as things start going, things start going crazy. What? We can start by clearing out all these package zip ties. These things keep your beast labs from going crazy in pack. And don't forget this side zipper here to reveal the inner working of your lab. And one other setup, not to forget battery compartment, six double A batteries. And a big whoops, careful not to spoil the surprise. If you tip back too much, you can may accidentally reveal who is inside in there. So careful on that. Oops. I may have suspicions on who we found. And don't forget to familiarize yourself with the controls before you begin. This is your on and off switch. Here's your fingerprint scanner that often sets things in motion. So does the heater, which uh, expands the fire inside our monster. And then our most important lever. Do not pull that lever until it says to pull. Overall, just stay calm. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions as you go along. <laughs> And now we're just about there to begin the Beast Lab Big Cats experiment, but let's check out what's inside our ingredients box first. Last time we kind of ran into the fly on that one, didn't we, Landry? What do we got? They are numbered to help us out. Fossil fragment is number one, a claw of a big cat, I see. Attack serum, number two, a praying mantis attack serum. That should be interesting. Number three, Landry has some skin scrappings. Four, we have a vial of rocks. Kind of maybe pop rocks, right? And five, over here in five, we've got the pandemonium crystals. Pandemonium crystals, look at that there. That should cause some trouble. And so each stage will call upon these ingredients, so keep them handy. And finally, all set to go to begin our experiment. Let's start by switching on batteries installed correctly. When fingerprint scanner flashes, press to continue. We'll continue right here. Oh my. Interesting sounds. We've got a beaker filled, a beaker ready and filled to go. We're going to pour in the contents up top. Opening up our jar up here. We can now peer inside and pour our chemicals in. Nice clean water. When the heat dial flashes, turn to position shown. So we're going to move on now from the light blue over to green. And the experiment may begin at level one, create cat species. So the fingerprint scanner is flashing, so we can go ahead and press again. My DNA has been somewhat encoded to help out, I believe. Now we're going to take our fossil fragment here. Number one, the fossil fragment. It's like a claw a fuzzy rocky claw and we'll take our claw and we'll drop it into the soup fuzzy no cat hair yet though it's got to taste good maybe and we'll let that get good and ready
And while that's boiling away, we can move up our heat dial one notch. And it begins to cook more. <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of fog is coming now from the bottom of the vial from the heat, I suppose, and we can go into power of the attack stage two. When fingerprint scanner flashes, we will once again encode our DNA into the machine. <laughs> and we can prepare our attack serum, our mantis attack serum. Careful with this stuff, it can be very squirrely. Opening up, and we will pour this on in. Ew. Mixing very well. The fossil fragment and the attack serum merge to form good soup. Meow 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 Oops, we had an accident. There we go, back to yellow. I had accidentally gone too far. A little more steam is coming from the base of this thing. And we are now moving on to stage three, colorize your beast. Thumbprint scanned, activated, bringing out our skin scrappings. I don't know why that sounds like the worst one. Skin scrappings, yikes, yuck. Oh, I dropped them, they just flew out. And there you go, there's the skin scrappings up close. They're very paper thin, like they've been scraped off the skin. And we'll take those scrapings and drop them in. Ew, whoops. Kind of swirly in there, kind of swirly. And once again, it is time to move up the heat dial. Oh, this is cooking now. We are really boiling this chicken cat. Lots of steam filling the studio. Becoming one with Beast Labs. And back down to the fingerprint scanner, thumbprint. And we can begin the next four. Unleash your beast's roar. That means preparing the roar rocks, getting the roar rocks ready. High bubbly contrast. Blinding chemicals. Squirrel, you better mix this up for me. Yes, yes, mix this up good. The more, the more mixing, the better. Now very foamy. Hope our cat isn't rabid. And that means we can turn up the heat once again to red. Yikes! Wowza! This is ultimate fog transformation here. The kitchen is on fire! And we're down to stage five. Complete the experiment. And we need to add in the pandemonium crystals. These feel close and designed to the fossil fragment, I believe. There they are, the chaos crystals. Ooh, shiny. And in goes the pandemonium. Heavy reaction going now with the crystals. Cattails growing, whiskers whisking, kitty litter filling. And a lots of boiling still going on. Lots of mixing interactions. Is that... Is that, what is that floating up from the surface? Why look, it's the skin scrapings. They're coming back up to the surface. What an interesting reaction. The skin scrapings are trying to escape. And now they react more, flushing each other down the drains of reactions.
Alarms now kicking in. Huge alarms. Heavy smoke. This is it. This is it. It's alive. It's alive. Okay, the alarm is going. We need to contain the danger. So we've got to screw back our lid on top there. I think the chemical reaction is about at its peak. Get that closed up and sealed. Nice and tight. Now it's time, time for the big one. Pull down on emergency lever to drain liquid. Oh boy, here we go. We ready Landry? Big cat is being revealed. It looks like the panther. How exciting. That's the one I wanted to see the most. The heartbeat reveal is so mesmerizing. I can't look away. So hauntingly impressive strike cats are. And now it's time to reveal our beast. We have cut away our zip ties earlier, so these should just unlatch on the sides. And lifting up. Wow. The growling, the growling. And we uncovered the panther beast. What a fun, pleasant surprise out of the two cats. That's the one I wanted to see. So we'll cut out our cat. He's locked down tightly into its base. We can take a closer look here. Easy kitty, easy, easy, easy. I know cats can get a little, a little tripped out. And I know cats sure like strings, so I have to be careful with these too. He might want to play with it. The beast latch on the back of your cat there turn counterclockwise, I believe it should rotate. There we go, as I go clockwise. And she's out. And these are pretty big deal figures. They're not just your casual basic figure. They're quite tall, quite ferocive. Ferocive, is that a word? It could be, it kind of like, sounds like corrosive and ferocious mixed together. So I kind of like that. I'm gonna call it ferocive. Very quite impressive figure, which kind of softens the price point on these. This cat comfortably stands at approximately seven and a half inches tall, maybe a little more, and an approximate 10 and a half inch arm span. So they are quite large. They've got great articulation too. He's standing nice and sturdy on table. Head rotation a little bit side to side. Maybe 360 actually this time. Uh, almost 360, I'm not gonna push it. Shoulders that reach up, rotate. Elbows that reach out, pin. And even wrists. Then we've got hips that rotate, kick out and sit. And knees, so plenty of points there. And then with the cat, we do have a kitty cat tail. <coughs> I don't see articulation, but it is softer plastic. You can kind of move it about. As for the feature right now, we are in green. And at this stage, you can move on to the second instruction manual. Remember, there are two instruction manuals with this great beast labs. Our pandemonium core is currently green. Once we press, we will see an element of... There it cycles through blue. Right now, we've got electricity summoned. There's also white light for ice, orange light for fire, and green light for earth. And so now when we press in, we'll get our elements of electricity going. And we also have spring punching attack. Or in this case, 
maybe ferocious cat swinging. To reset back to green, go back to the back here, press your reset. That should bring back pandemonium green. And let's try another cycle element. Ice, light, white light for ice effect. Still sounds kind of squishy. I can't totally differentiate the sounds coming from it, but I do like the light uh, changing effect in the center there. It's pretty fun. Now, if you want to go into berserk mode, just press that button a whole bunch. Oh boy, berserk mode activated. Always fun. And now this panther is ready to destroy the lab. Wait, wait, panther, wait. Please don't destroy the lab. We've got some weapons for you. Why don't you calm down a little bit? How do we calm down? I'm just gonna go this way. You calm yet? We have two weapons to attach with this one. Havoc Hammerhead only had one. We've got two Wolverine style claw weapons for both arms. They were positioned on either side of the lab there. You can snap those on for extra feature. So pretty fascinating, awesome, oops, awesome beast labs discovery monster here. And once it's all over, you can return your beast to the lab and you can begin the new experiment again. Just reattach everything, get that back panel cord up. Reset the giant container flask by flipping over and there is a release button right here and I think that just fills her back up with the hidden screen of slime. It's a really fun little action feature. This works as a really cool display model, if anything. It is really fun for your scientific lab. So that will refill up slowly, and then you can flip back over and conceal your beast. Now we've opened everything up, so you're welcome to use your own experiment creations in a second run. Or they also sell refill packs with a couple different main experiments in there and plus a bunch of more mist reveals. At a certain point, the mist starts to fog on out but you can go with it creative as you will. And so that is the Stealth Strike Cats Beast Creator, the big cats, a really fun one if you are into the cats of beasts. Don't forget like last time we checked out the Shark Beast Creator pack, this was Havoc Hammerhead again, and there's also a great white fantastic shark to look for. And upcoming up, just discovered reptiles. We have a surprise glow-in-the-dark reptile beast creator beast labs. I see either a giant purple cobra or a very ferocious lizard-like beast to choose from or discover. So stay tuned for that action a little later this month. And that's the Beast Lab Stealth Strike Cats Edition. What do you think of our experiment today? If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel lab, a squamant, your favorite Beast Lab experiment, what you have discovered, what you would like to discover, what is up next to discover. There is so much interesting things inside that flask of green. Don't forget, we now have some Squirrel Stampede merch out there, some t-shirts, water bottles, and a plush Landry. Thank you all for watching again. That's what I have to say about that.